Uh, people, the boozer here, giving you guys a look at the gaming on the iPhone slash iPod, whatever. Um, we're going to take a quick look at Rock Band. This is um, a music and rhythm game you would find on um, PlayStation, Xbox, the Wii, whatever, PC as well. This is a game I would never play on my PC. I wouldn't play this on a device other than a handheld device. It's just not my speed. I like to violently murder people. But on the handheld device as a time killer, it is quite um, enjoyable. Um, it seems to be updating my song list. I don't know why it's doing that now. Bad timing. But um, I'm going to talk a little bit about gaming on the iPod iPhone. They offer a lot of multiplayer games, meaning that you and your friends could get together and kick some ass. Um, it's loaded now. But you and up to how many other people? I think Rock Band is up to 4 people. I know there are games that go up to 10 people. So you could um, just play some games with your friends. I'm going to play a little warm up game simply because I am here on the um, play of one hand. Well, I guess you can play with one hand. But I'm going to play with one hand. I'm going to play the bass, uh, medium. Let's get something going here. I'm going to play the entire song. I don't know how long this is, but it's going to dictate the length of the video. I may stop halfway through. Let's resume. Let's hope this isn't too hard for my one hand. So basically what you do is you mash the colors with the colors and you're playing similar to Guitar Hero. Um, those are the types of games. Yeah, I'm feeling. But basically it matches the tracks and generates these little um, challenges, I guess. It's good for hand eye coordination. And when your bar lights it like this, you could just wiggle it. Let's wiggle it. Yeah, so this is just a glance at one of the games. This is Rock Band. I'm going to stop now and show you another game. Whoops. This is a little tricky part there. Yeah, that's right. I own Rock Band. Alright, moving on. Alright, this is, you also get to see the multitasking on the, um, the iPod, I, the iOS 4.1, let's just call it that, because it's, like I said, constant across both devices. Alright, so I close those games, let me find something to play. Let's see. What would be interesting? Need for Speed Undercover. What's interesting about the games, um, on the iPod, let me unplug the charger. Whoops, looks like we had a false positive there. Let's try that again. There we go. Game's loading. Alright, so the game has done out quite well. Um, it's actually quite similar to the PC version. Seems that I have been on my way already. Still a random lady talking. I have to pick my car. Let's see. Let's go with this Madza here. I'm gonna buy it. As you can see, the graphics are pretty good. Ignoring random talking lady again. Let's just put this up in my hand. See if that helps with the controller. You can see the car looks pretty spiffy. Gonna happen to a quick lift. Oh, this bitch is in the hook. Alright, let's go with the big race, it's called. Let's see how big it really is. Oh, yeah, there's another thing. Most of the games out there on um, CG cutscene or live action cutscenes, these would be the same cutscenes that would have been on the PC version of this game. Alright, as you can see, there's a. Um, you get a full package when you get games on these phones. I'm gonna just skip this. Uh, let's get to the game. As you can see, like I said, the graphics are really good. We're talking about a car racing game here on a mobile device. I would say the graphics are definitely better than PSP. I don't think the Nintendo 3DS is even gonna be able to compare. So you drive by um, tilting the device, you can rapidly tilt it to shift, uh, to, sorry, drift, sorry. You can swipe up to activate a mouse. It's pretty, pretty um, cool. Yeah, I'm only with one hand. Now you're looking at the screen, looking through the back camera. But yeah, this is um, Need for Speed Undercover. Pretty nice game. Graphics are awesome. Yep, so um, yeah, this particular game does not have multiplayer. But uh, games like Need for Speed Shift. Um, GT Wrestling Academy, those other wrestling games would have the um, multiplayer. Also, there's the Hot Pursuit. I'm probably going to do that in a later video. And it's probably get a tripod or something. You could uh, check that out as well. So, I'm going to finish this race. And um, yeah, guys, I'm out. Bye, guys.